It's uh, it's absolutely a beautiful day out here. Okay, roll the intro. I don't think I've mentioned this yet, but I did fix the old camera that I that happened in the booster board fall. Um, and so there's something on that camera that's not on this camera that I have to put on this camera. So let me explain. So uh, there's this thing I do on all the cameras, at least all the DSLRs that we have, and uh, well, I, I think I've put this on the vlog once or twice. I'm gonna put it on there again because I think it's such a good camera hack. It's probably my favorite camera hack. I need tape though. All right, let's see. For this hack, you want shipping tape. Clear shipping tape. You uh, you don't want this tape. Shipping tape is what you want. All right, uh, one other thing is CVS here in Darien where I went to get the tape, that right here, come on, this, uh, that right there, that's an appropriate length receipt for for the tape, uh, not the one I got in New Jersey for six batteries. All right, so finished some work, but I went to CVS, right, because I had to get some batteries, so check this out. All right, so I got my batteries, and then this is, this is the receipt. I literally got one. What the? I literally got one thing of batteries. And this. This is the receipt. Sorry if the past few shots have been overexposed during the vlog. I just noticed my whole exposure thing was really high. Um, anyways, back. Time to. Well, let's, let me show you the hack. All right, so here's the Canon 80D right here. I'm gonna take it off the Gorilla Pod. And this is the Canon right here. So what I do is I have a little pull, basically I have a pull tab on my, uh, on my cameras for, for actually a very good reason. Let me just get set up here. So for a very good reason, which is like, when I, when I show something like this, and then I don't want to come around and talk to the camera, it's really hard to get your fingers in here without touching these buttons to like do that in one like fluid motion. So what I do is like I'll show it here and I'll grab a pull tab and in one fluid motion I can go like this and then talk to the camera. So here's how I make that pull tab. Packers, packing tape, you want to make sure you get packing tape, not regular scotch tape. And I try to do a lot because for this very reason, I don't want to use the greasy part. So I kind of do this and I'm not going to use that either. I'm going to use this part right here. There we go. Do about, I don't know, half an inch to an inch like this, right? and put on the back side of the screen, so the part with no screen. All right, so then place it right about there. Okay, do you see this right here? Right there, do you see this like pull tab part? This is very crucial. You're gonna fold this part over. Perfect, there we go. Okay, now this will go back on here so then if you wanted to you could show something here and instead of me having to like fumble in here and go like that and then talk to the camera I can do this get my hand ready right away and go like that and I'm already talking to the camera it's I can just grab that pull tab and just pull so again I'll get it in there Let's do it one more time. So, right, we're here. I'm showing you this. 
I go like this and I'm just talking to the camera. I don't have to like reach my fingers in there. Cause that's the most annoying part of daily vlogging is like by accidentally touching buttons or not getting the, uh, not getting a shot that you want. Anyway, so that's my, uh, I do that on all the cameras. Alrighty, got some work done. Got some work on some of the guitars done. So, tuned up, cleaned up, new strings on there, which always feels good. Out for a boosted board ride right now, and then I'm gonna go out and get some food. I'm pretty hungry. Alright, well, uh, back from the boosted board ride. And, you know, I was, I, I went over, um, there's a place over here called the Rowayton Market. It's like a nice deli kind of thing. Um, and I looked at the time, it's about 4 o'clock. Um, so all I did is I just grabbed a Coke. Um, but one thing I was thinking of that I, maybe I should do uh, for this episode today, to make it a little bit exciting, is to, uh, is to go, there's this one bar uh, barbecue place I love, uh, literally in a town next over, called Dinosaur Barbecue. And I went to a barbecue spot out in St. Louis called Sugar Fire Barbecue. <laughs> Got food, got a table, about to eat. I'll give you the uh, census once I'm almost done and or done eating. It is packed in here. I mean, look at it. It's packed in here. There is, every table is full. It was hard to find a seat, but I got one packed. All right, time to eat. Okay, uh, I feel like I have shit all over my face. Update on the barbecue. Uh, it is so, I mean, so good. Um, I'm gonna do a, I'm gonna do a comparison between Sugar Fire and Dinosaur tonight. Alright. Damn thing won't stay in. Alrighty, on my way to Dinosaur Barbecue to order and pick up food, bring it back to the house and have a comparison. Well, I don't have Sugar Fire near me, that's like a St. Louis thing, but it was just so... Alright, I can't wait to do this comparison. I'm really excited. Made it to Dinosaur. That's Dinosaur behind me. Gonna order my food and head back. Alright. I mean, and pick it up too. Alright, now it's time to go back. Alright, so uh, I finished one rib. The difference is between these ribs and the one out in um, St. Louis. These have a little more of like a, a rub to it. You know, like a a dry rub, I guess. The other ones out there were kind of way more dry and just had seasoning in it, but it was like so good. These are nice and um, and damp. I don't use the M word, um, but the, you know they, they have a lot of flavor and there's a lot of meat on these as well as the ones um, over in St. Louis. There's a lot of meat. Um, it's just kind of what mood you're in. I mean, these are really good for right now. I think right now, uh, Sugar Fire out in St. Louis is still, still up there. All right, I'm gonna get back to eating. One thing I noticed about dinosaur versus out in St. Louis is these have a, like, like over there I could like pull, get two bones and rip it and it'll just like rip across and it's easy to eat. This I had to get a knife and like get really in there and then some of the meat fell off. So that's just one thing. I don't know if that's a cooking thing or whatever, but that's definitely a uh, factor into it. Overall, it was still pretty good. I still loved Sugar Fire was, I think, still number one for me. But this is still, like, really good barbecue food. Uh, I got mac and cheese and fries. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat some mac and cheese and fries. <laughs> time-lapse look. Anyways, I'm gonna go out because I think it's uh, I think it's ice cream time. Alrighty, well uh, gotta clean this place up because they're actually like showing this like, so anyways, they're showing this house tomorrow like villagers and stuff so have to make it look presentable. Alright, 
well, I'm going to take out the garbage. And with that being said, I'm also going to end this episode. Uh, Alright, I'll see you tomorrow.